Hello, I'm here with Franz Kamel from KNX. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thanks. The Internet of Things is not new. It's been around for a while, but do we really have an ecosystem for all the connected devices present today? Actually, I have to say, not at all, but we have always a, a, a situation that we are going ahead with our specifications to be prepared for the future. And the first devices you already can see here on the fair, and you can see it on the board behind me, that our companies, they are able to uh, start development based on pre specifications and they have done that and the first products are right at the same time available and the other companies are heavily doing their development and wait for the light and building then you will uh, easily see how the ecosystem exists and how the ecosystem grows and by the way we do have an ecosystem we have at the end uh, nearly 500 million devices installed in the world and the ecosystem is not just the IoT devices because there are uh, action uh, uh, points, connecting points to the existing world and the new world. So, no doubt that there is an ecosystem. Yeah, I, it, it looks like you guys have been very, very busy. When we talk about connected devices and an ecosystem, security is the first concern that people have. Is that something KNX can address? Of course. Once again, we're always a little bit like a rolling stone. We think on issues which are coming up and then we are preparing ourselves and our system. And uh, this uh, cybersecurity issue had been addressed in our organization roughly five, six years ago, and the specification is done. The first products are available. A lot of products are available. If you go here uh, through the, uh, to one of the booths of the company Kira, you will see all the devices uh, Kira is offering, they are KNX secure. And we have addressed two different security levels. One is data secure, which addresses each and every device in the network. And then we have IP secure, which is then addressing the uh, internet connectivity, which is an issue uh, which demands uh, specific uh, efforts. Yep. And last thing from my side, energy management, energy saving, that has always been one of the promises, right? That's it, it's gonna be sustainable, it's gonna be green, it's gonna have cost savings, right? Is there an efficient way to employ energy savings in buildings today? Of course. And you are addressing something. We are uh, nearly f uh, 35 years old. And I can say energy saving, energy efficiency is in our, in our DNA since the early beginning. Because what we always address is comfort, energy management, energy saving, and uh, the connectivity of the, of, the, uh, of, the, of, the, of the applications. These are the, the three points. And each device which has been introduced in the, in the, into the market has uh, additionally the point that it can be used for uh, energy saving issues. A window contact, a thermostat on the, on, on, on the heating system, a sw wall switch for lighting which gives the possibility to dim. Each and everything is supporting at the end of the day energy efficiency. Franz, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome and thank you very much for the time and for the, for the possibility to give some comments. Thanks.